In the middle of the 15th century, during the reign of Murad II, the Wallachian region that the Romans called Wallachia was made Ottoman territory without war. The Prince of Wallachia gave his sons Radul and Vlad to Murad II as a warrant of his loyalty. Sultan Murad brought Vlad to the Adirn Palace and provided him the same education he gave to his son, Prince Mehmed. This is how Prince Mehmed, who in time would come to carry the title of the Conqueror, met Vlad, who would become known as Vlad the Impaler. In this centuries-old fight between good and evil, a new page was being added to the archaic annals of history. This was a war between justice and cruelty. Earth. Air. Water. Fire. The universe stands atop of these four stakes. It's the same wind that comes in and out of everyone's first and last breath. It is the same earth that covers everything. You can put two seeds in the bosom of the northwest wind and give them both the same clear water so that their roots get nourished. They both breathe the same air as they grow. But one of them turns out to be an oleander and the other one a rose. Both the oleander and the rose can live on this earth. Blood. But if the oleander releases its poison, then the garden owner's job is to root it out. If one is fire and it burns, wronging the ones around it, there will always be enough water to put it out and enough wind to scatter its ashes. This is the Edict of the Father of Conquests, the Sultan's son, to the Voivode of the province of Wallachia, Vlad Tepish. We heard you have chosen to become the son of the dragon, the heir of the devil, instead of becoming our brother. You, who were raised in our mercy, have forsaken it. We gave you the right to rule, to do you justice, but you only inflict cruelty while sitting on the throne. We have never interfered with your oath-given right, but we will put a stop to your cruelty. From now on, if you hurt an innocent person, if you shed blood... Ottoman Turkish. How I've missed it. The price will be taken from you by folds. Your punishment will be as severe as your cruelty. Hm. If you're going to ask for forgiveness, do it. You may yet get a drop from our Sultan's vast sea of mercy. Listen, messenger. You know this turban on your head reminds me of very bad things. It reminds me of the bad days I spent in the Ottoman palace. The awful garden of that palace. It stink. Those strange men with turbans. Mehmed acting like a spoiled child. When I see this turban, 
I remember the nights I spent crying when I was in your Ottoman palace all through my childhood, messenger. Take off the turban. The cloth of this turban is my cerement. Take my life first, then my turban. Very well. to do you a favor. You will never part ways with this turban you like so much. You think the son of the Yarman stops when the son of the dog goes mad? If you never fall short of evil, we never fall short of soldiers! You can't get away with it! You can't! The bird is free. Now you set your heart free of the burden it carries, my ruler. Father Sultan. That bastard Vlad who became a... a voivode by our grace has been causing distress to the people. And as if that wasn't enough, he slaughtered the messenger we sent to give him a last warning. Now this insolence needs to be answered. What goes through your heart, what goes through your mind, will go down in history books, my ruler. Vlad's faith will be passed on from language to language in seven countries and three continents as an exemplary story. Then this is your duty. Let the Delhi children of the Ottoman premises know. Send off the state bird. It shall be our Sultan's edict. Gokurt. He breathed into men from his soul. He gave them ears, eyes, hearts. Then humankind, whose heart is full of delusion, strayed away. He burnt, destroyed, and inflicted cruelty. The Delilaires swore to erase cruelty from the face of the earth. This we vow! This we vow! If I fall in the field, let it be written in stone! I you go for whatever is in my destiny! They became Ali Zulfikar. Omer's justice. They buried their pain in their hearts. 
and wore death like a shield. They died so that others would not. The earth was their mattress and the sky was their quilt. They walked alone and shone light on the darkness with their weapons. They were Delhi Lair. You called upon us, and we came to you, Father Sultan. Our weapons are your weapon. Omer, our sage. Who is Ali? Our soldier. What is the field? Our home. What is battle? Our lover. Who would you die for? Our sultan. Where does the road lead? To the red apple. Who are your brothers? Delilah. And what do they call you? That tyrant has gone too far, and our patience is wearing thin. Tell me, what will we do now? The time for words and forgiveness has already passed. Do you know why? We call the state our mother, Gokurt. Because a mother never leaves her children alone. You are both, the child and the state. Don't ever feel alone on this road. And don't ever let a child of ours think that they are alone either. I have given you the edict and the order. Gather your weapons. Get on the road and bring punishment upon the cruel. My soul now hangs around your neck. I'll carry it on my heart, Father Sultan, as long as this neck is on these shoulders. My soul is in your heart. May God help you succeed. happening where is this place calm down calm down I am healing you
Majesty Vlad Tepish. Your Majesty. Where is the weapon alchemist? After I inflicted the plague on the rats, I could not make the Scarlet Moss work. When I gave them the Scarlet Moss first, it became too hard to contain them. I don't want to hear any stories. When will my weapon be finished, Alchemist? Tell I me. made great progress, Your Majesty. Your Majesty. You are going to conquer every city with this weapon. The walls, the houses, the palaces. No harm will come to any of those. But no living being will survive inside. None of them. The people. The animals. Even the insects. Is there anything you need, then? Rats, your majesty. Too many perished during the experiments. What else? Some scarlet moss. They go mad when I give them the scarlet moss. Find whatever he's asking for! Right away, your majesty. Right now! If you go on with what you are planning to do, Constantinople will fall in one night, and the Turks will run back to where they have come from. <laughs> <laughs> I don't intend to simply make a city fall, Alchemist. What I intend is to change the entire course of history. So finish this weapon very quickly. I wouldn't want you to turn into the man that's lying there. Yes, Your Majesty. There's no such thing as a Delhi Lair. There is. My grandfather saw the Delhi Lair. He told me everything about how they fight. There is no such thing called Delhi Lair. Mm. My father said those were just some stories adults tell to scare little children. Mm -hmm. No, the Delhi Lair are real. I know they are. The, the, soldiers, the soldiers are coming. The soldiers are coming. <laughs> run, run. Everyone gather around. Listen up. Whomever collects and brings us rats will be given gold. Gold? How much are you offering? Don't come any closer, you miserable leper. Whomever collects a cage full of rats will be given a pouch of gold. Go on, get to it! Has there been news from the Alchemist? Yes. Once my weapon is finished, Elisabetta, Mehmed and those goat herd Turks who follow him will not even have the strength to go back to those Asian Moors they came from. I will destroy Mehmed. I will destroy him, Elisabetta. I will bury him, and not even a single person will remember him in history. Not one person. As soon as my weapon is finished, his people will go down with epidemic, sickness, hunger. They will all take over the palace. I, I will bury Mehmed in the city where he got his conqueror title. Well, as you know, the Pope supports you in your holy cause. There is nothing we cannot do with the Pope's power. The Pope has no power, Elisabetta. He can continue fooling others, but not me. The idiots wash babies with that water they call holy. The idiots form a line to receive wine or bread in mass. But what am I doing, Elisabetta? With these hands here, these hands, I am making hell for the Turks. You are the greatest commander Wallachia has ever seen. But don't forget, with the Pope's power, your commandership would surpass all limits. My commandership doesn't have limits or borders, Elisabetta because I am the son of God. I am the same as God on Earth, Elisabetta.
are you gonna give us our gold? Anyone else wants to claim their gold? Master, what is Kuman saying? He's saying don't boast when you go to the battlefield. And don't mourn the ones who died in the field. He says it. But the heart doesn't listen sometimes. save him. I buried my brother with my own hands. It is more painful than death. Asgar, come and have a bite. We have a long way to go. Asgar, come on, brother. Come on. The shortest road to Targovishta is this one, but it is way too dangerous. We may have to fight there because Vlad's troops are patrolling the area. We should take the safest path by going there from the north. But if Vlad's troops are patrolling the villages, then that is exactly the path we should take. <clears throat> Here, Gaziz. The edict of our ruler is not only for the blood of one son of Adam, but for the sake of all the wronged ones. We recite Bismillah and draw our weapons solely for them. We are taking this road. Princess awaits you outside. I'm coming. My princess. Tell me, how are we doing, Alchemist? The Scarlet Moss has worked, my princess. We are almost ready now. Is that so? <laughs> 
Are we ready or not? We are ready, my princess. No one can stand against the one who has this weapon. I suppose we can now share the good news then. So worried about you. The rats. The rats, Grandfather. Shh, shh. Calm down. Calm down. Take a breath first. What did you see? What did you hear? The soldiers came to the street of the homeless. They made the homeless people collect lots of rats. They killed an old man because he asked for gold. Then they put the rats in cages and took them away. There was a man where they took the rats. He looked like a sorcerer. He spoke to the princess. Look at me. No one saw you there, right? No, Grandfather, no one saw me. You were able to hear what they talked about? They talked about a weapon, Grandfather. They say no one can stand up against it. Hello, Hava. How is your brother? He's fine, thank God. Thank God. If our Prince Vlad isn't happy with the job we are doing, he won't kill you. Do you know why? Because I will have killed you before he does. Gold, silver, collect all the valuable things. Make sure no one survives. Father? Hello, my girl. Eat something. Well, I know this is yogurt, but, uh, what is this? Something that is good for you. Tell me what it is first. It tastes a bit bad, but it'll be good for your cough. Don't be stubborn. Yeah. Wait here. You wait right here. Father. I said wait here a lot. <laughs>
Silent one. Go see if there is anyone left alive. Don't be afraid. We mean no harm to the wronged ones. Sister, sister, don't cry. The one who died for us got rid of the evil of this world. And your father died a martyr. He went to heaven. May we face the same fate. Done, boy. We would not have been able to find you if you didn't cry like this. Please don't let my mother die. Please help. Don't worry. I'm going to stop all your mother's pain now. Very carefully about when to shut your mouth and when to speak.
Tell me, fisherman, in his miracle, how many fish did it take our Lord Jesus Christ to feed 5,000 people? It took two fish, my lord. <laughs> well then, where is the second fish? It belongs to the orphans, sir. In that case, I will accept the fish to honor the orphan. Do you not have anyone? Not anymore. My family was slaughtered, where Vlad's troops plundered when I was very little. My father was a blacksmith who saved me, and he was one of the Turkmen's the Ottomans sent to the Balkan land. Vlad took my family away from me one by one. My religion is my business. Your religion is your business. No one attacks anyone because of their religion in Ottoman land. Don't hide it. Hey! Hey, what are you doing? That's not how you nurse a baby. With your permission, Your Majesty. <clears throat> All the troops you sent south to plunder were killed, Your Majesty. Only this one was able to escape. Only he did what? He escaped. Your Great Majesty. Hmm? Your Majesty, they, they... They came so suddenly. Suddenly? They had wings. They had wings? Hmm. <laughs> they, they, they were animal hide. They were like monsters. Like monsters? They put everyone to the sword. Everyone? Then what are you doing here? How many? How many were there? Come. Drink something. You've covered a long distance. Come on. Hmm. How many of them were there? Huh? How many of them were there?
How many of them? Costa. Find them for me. Gird yourselves with all the weapons God has provided you to be able to stand against the devil's tricks. For our fight is not against people, but against administrations, against kingdoms, the powers of this dark world, the evils, spiritual armies, in celestial places. My master pours out his grief to the moon at night and sleeps during the day. I'm not sleeping. I'm thinking. Was it him who raised you? I'm learning the road and the journey from him. Why do they call you nameless? Is it your nickname? It is not so easy to have a name here. One's name and destiny are the same. We don't want one's name to be too heavy to bear. That is why he needs to show skill in the battlefield first. I will take my name at the end of this journey. I hope. But until then, I am nameless. There's a gypsy group I know around here. Let's leave the little one there. Yeah! <laughs> oh, look, you got the most handsome man here. Brother-in-law. Tonight's the night, huh? <laughs> Take the horses. Go, take the horses. The baby's hungry, and he needs rest. Well, we have a place to lie down, and we have food. Where are you coming from, and where are you going? From the road and to the road. Are you his mother? No. Are you his father? Why are you nodding? Are you his father? <laughs> We found her, and the little one in a village that was under attack. Food, beverage, take whatever you want. You're in luck. We're having a wedding. We'll just rest in a corner. Don't stop your fun for us. Don't you all just stare like that? Haven't you ever seen an unexpected guest? Go on, let's get back to the fun. <laughs> Help me. Help me. <laughs> <laughs> 
from your blood. <laughs> My little soldiers. strong for our holy cause. We could not understand how it happened, how it ended. They collected every single Jew like us where we used to live. Some of them were killed. Some of them were able to escape like us. We are grateful to the Turks. Those who we thought were our friends closed their doors on us. The Ottomans, who we didn't know that well, welcomed us with open arms. Anyway, what's your story? Conga, you are making my head spin, Conga. I brought you soup, you'll have some, yes? This is the best soup around here. I can't tell you how many bowls I've had since I came here. Oh, thank you. Nameless. Thank you. But we have already eaten. So, where are you going to? We go to the road. You don't look like you're from here. Where are you from? He is an unexpected guest as you are. He ran away from Vlad too, from Targovishti. Do you not have anyone? You asked me that on the road. Now I am curious. I do. Other than them? Your mother, your father, siblings. I haven't seen my mother or father since I was six years old. Our road is not one to start a family, Alaka. <sighs> it was very difficult to take the baby away from your silent friend. He loves him, apparently. Well, when one loves, one can't let go. Good night to you. Good night. Good night.
Let him sleep. He did not sleep until the baby did. Silent one. Alaka. We are leaving. The road we are on is not suitable for women and children. These are good people, reliable people. You need to stay here. You will be fine with them. The bandits that killed my father weren't ordinary bandits. They were Vlad soldiers. They will go after you. Death is the least painful thing on our road. If they don't come for us, we will come for them. It would make things easier if our enemy came after us. But don't worry about that. I entrust the baby to you, and I entrust you to Allah. I shared my destiny and my sorrow with God. For me, that baby is a reminder of you. I will dedicate my life to him, as long as I am alive. Oh, it's time to part ways. Silent one. Give him to me. Silent one. Miriam. Miriam, quick. Take the baby, Miriam. Silent one. You must leave the little one. Inside, Miriam. Look after the silent one, son. Alaka, you are a very brave woman. I bid you farewell, sister. If I ever find myself alone, I know I will always have the Ottomans to rely on. Consider me one of you, and Godspeed. She's the only child we could save from the Turkmen village. Vlad's troops slaughtered her whole family. When I go be with Father God, I will tell him about everything they did to us. You don't have to go near Allah to tell him about the things they did to you. He has already heard you. He must have, because he sent his lions to avenge you. The messenger of the papacy is in your presence, your majesty. Well, 
well, well, well, well, well, well. The fact that you rooted the blasphemous Turks out from your land has made our venerable Pope very pleased. He ordered me to tell you that he acknowledges you as the warden of all Christendom. That is why he sent you a very special crown. This crown is the greatest symbol that for the papacy you are in a position that is as important as cardinalship. Mm. It is a great honor. Now you are the guardian of all believers of Jesus Christ. <sighs> Tell that Pope of yours. I am not the slave or the warden of anyone. If that Pope of yours doesn't want me to go and destroy his throne after I bury that Mehmed in history, then he will acknowledge the fact that I am the son of God. I am the son of God. <laughs> Tell your master I forgive his presumptuousness for now. Buddies. You don't open your eyes before the moon comes up, but I know you are awake. The son of Adam always liked the sun. I close my eyes during the day to please the moon, so that it wouldn't grieve saying, I wonder if no one sees my beauty. Does the sun burn this much where you are from, Mubaris? Does it, brother? The sun burns much more there. But you wouldn't just let it burn you, because it would spare its light from you. Where I come from, the wind, the water, the earth are different too. When you look up at the sky, you see the blue of the Caspian. I think of there often. You know, brother, when you rarely see something, you become afraid of missing it. Silent one. Dear silent one. You are thinking of the little boy. Separation is hard. I know. But it is for his own good. Our road is thorny. It stinks of death. We think of death as our lover. You did the best for that sinless baby. The rest is the will of Allah. Thinking this much about it won't benefit you or him. Shh. Silent one. I see you're full of things to say again. <laughs> Why are you so quick to thoughtlessly make jest? Do you think it fitting for a soldier to behave like a jester? <laughs> Kungar! Do you get angry a lot, Asgard? Ah, uh, brother? Then draw your weapon and use it on Kongar's head. But you should know that it will be just like using that weapon on yourself. <laughs> Why, brother? Because he has forgotten how many lives he has sent into the ground. Just as you have forgotten how many you have taken in the battlefield. After a certain point, the heart of a man desensitizes. 
A smile finds its way on his face, just as if it's being carved out with a dagger. <laughs> what happens after that? You either end up mute, like the silent one, or you end up like Kongar, with fake laughs, laughs at life. You laugh, brother. You laugh. Don't think that he is any different from you. Just because his name is not Asgard. Don't think that, brother. We receive a wolf. He receives news. We receive news. The jackal goes to him. The wolf comes to us. The news gets to him. I summoned you to wake you up, and so you can wake the others as well. The asleep must rise. Let their insides burn like the steel entering the fire. Let all men fight before the sky turns copper, before the earth turns into mud. Open your eyes, come on. Open your heart. Open your soul. Open your wings. Wrap them around those who are in trouble. I swear on the lightning horses. And on the wolves with sky mane, you are not alone. God is with us. <gasps> On your feet and ready, Gaziz! Silent one, Kuman! Vlad's troops. Kongar. Kongar! Open your eyes, brother. Come on. Laughing suits you, brother. I swear I won't be angry if you laugh. Kongar, laugh! Kongar! Kongar! Oscar, from now on, your road is one and his is another. Leave him. No way. Kangar will endure. He will get better, and we will continue on our road. Duty awaits no one. Go now. I said no. Maybe we'll find a village ahead, a healer, to apply ointment to his wound. Maybe he will get better. Kangar is strong. My brother can endure. Asgar. Kongar would want you to make history on the battlefield. He would not want you to grieve. Do what must be done, brother.
You're dead piled up, Hector. This is your last drink. Bring wine, too. No wine. Water. Is there anyone else? Is there any other man that can come before me in this tavern? <laughs> you are quiet like the Turks that Vlad impaled. Why do you keep looking down like hungry orphan bastards? Alas.
Gaziz. We need to find pure water. Nameless. Understood, Master. What are you doing here? I am going towards Targovishta too. You wouldn't have taken me with you if I asked. So I came after you is all. Well then, you came after us in vain. You cannot come with us. <clears throat> Nameless. Nameless. Nameless! It's my fault. I sent him. Mubaris. I sent him. Go uh. I sent him. Mubaris! I sent him here! Mubaris! It appears that they didn't slaughter him, brother. He's alive. They took him away. We will find him. I'm the one who sent him. We will find Nameless. We will find him. We will find Nameless, Mubaris. Allah willing, we will find him. I thought the strongest soldiers were the Turks de Lille. <laughs> My father told me our Prince Vlad declared war against the Turks. He's been setting fire to the <laughs> nearest villages. <laughs> if there was a de Lille, they would have come to save the villagers. My father said they will all go away soon. Come on. <laughs> <laughs>
Welcome, brother. My duty? Deli Karali. We are not here for a nice reason. I know, my brother, I know. It is time to solve it all. He's not a stranger. He is the grandson of a fisherman. He doesn't have anyone else. Let's not talk here, Gokurt. Go to the boathouse. I entrust you to a hero. Eren will take you to the boathouse. Come on, Delilah. Guard the secret in your heart. Yes, the secret is in my heart. Well, 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 well. <laughs> so this is our hero, huh? <laughs> Who are you? Hmm? Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're not going to talk, huh? Let's see if the tales are true. <clears throat> Who are you all? Hold it. Hold it. <clears throat> Very interesting. <laughs> I'm almost believing the tales. <laughs> now, who are you all? Your Majesty, hmm. there's something important. Make him talk. There has been movement in the south. <laughs> you were nameless, but now you have a nickname, Fingerless. There is a secret underground passage that goes to Vlad's castle. Vlad surely put soldiers there too, but I don't think there are a lot of them. However, there is greater trouble. What trouble is there, Karali? Vlad is working on a secret weapon in a cave outside the castle. And what kind of weapon is that, Karali? 
they are going to spread plague using the rats. They are mixing blood and flesh from a person infected with a scarlet moss plague that makes the rats go mad. Then he is going to release the rats on the people. He is planning to destroy all of mankind with this plague. You and I grew up in the Delilar company. Shoulder to shoulder since we were little boys. We wielded our weapons in many battlefields. We took lives. And we gave lives. But... They have nameless. That is why... We have to get into the den... Of that demon. Karali, do you think you can destroy these rats on your own? Allah willing. Then this will be your duty. We will find the secret passage. May Allah bring you no harm and guard your journey safely. Will you give us your blessing? We came with water. We will go with earth. I give you my blessing. Give me your blessing too. May Allah bless you. May Allah help us succeed. And may Qadir guard us. You are very brave for bringing us here. You raised him with the heart of a lion. Praise be. He is like a lion indeed. You are a tough boy. Are you going to be a wrestler? No. I'm going to join the Daily Lark Company like you. <laughs> what is your name? Eren. I'm glad you exist, Eren. I'm glad you exist. Father, I've come. Your son is here. They are coming to bring a storm upon me. They are coming to slaughter your son, Father. I hope you won't leave me alone like he did. Like that Wallachian villager who thought he was my father. Like that ignorant, unworthy, clumsy man. Don't leave me alone like the sellout prince who left a child in the enemy's palace with the Ottomans. I am your son. I have known it since the first day. You, who everyone calls God, who everyone fears. You are my father. You will lay the world beneath my feet, and I will baptize people with fire and death. But if you leave me, Father, you can be sure that I won't accept defeat like that carpenter Jesus of Nazareth. He surrendered to the Roman army, but I have never surrendered to anyone, and I won't. 
If you leave me and I am defeated against those blasphemous barbaric Turks, if I die and stay in darkness, your name will also stay in darkness forever. It is your choice, Father. Nameless. Nameless. No. I didn't talk. I, I didn't. Gazis, this is the moment. <laughs> it is time for martyrdom, brothers. Zulfikar will strengthen our weapons, and the vultures will feed on the ones we take. Oh, Deliler. Oh. <laughs> Who 
Deliler. Can you believe they have come to kill the Son of God? <laughs> this we vow! This, this we vow! I will not stop before! My weapon is in pieces and my body! Full of <laughs> This we vow! This, this we, we vow! vow! This we vow! Tyrants are our enemy, and the earth is our battlefield. <laughs> Idiots. This we vow. This we vow. I will crush the crown of the ones with a crown and the head of the ones with a head. This we vow. This, this we, we vow. vow. I won't go to Allah or to the council of the Sultan before I carry my flag to the seven countries and three continents. This we vow. This, this we, we vow. I fight for the Ottoman dynasty and I hold Mohammed in the highest honor. This we vow. This, this we, we vow. vow. If I fall in the field, let it be written in stone. I, I go, go through, through whatever, whatever is written, written in my destiny. destiny. To this nonsense. I said put an end to it. Do you know why? We call this state our mother, Gokurt. Because a mother never leaves her children alone.
from now on, think very carefully about when to shut your mouth and when to speak. Well done, boy. We would not have been able to find you if you didn't cry like this. Usta, kuman ne diyor?
there. Don't have the strength to end us. Your generation will not live to see us devastated in this era. <coughs> you gave me to the Turks for the second time, Father. So this is your choice. Kill me. You can't kill me. For to one side, head to the other side! Nameless. My brave one. Master is proud of you. Hamza. Lion hunter Hamza.
From this moment on, you are no more nameless. You are Hamza. Named after the Martyrs, Chief Commander. A companion to all the Delhi Lair. the ones who die before death. They die as one and return as a thousand. They are the ones who drown tyrants in their own blood and darkness in the glow of their weapons. They are the ones who shatter crowns and thrones and return to mountaintops. They are the ones who make the world tremble and then lie alone in nameless graves. They walk towards death so that others don't have to. They are the ones who go first. They are the ones who don't come back. They are called Delhi Lair. If I fall in the field, let it be written in stone. You go through whatever is written in your destiny. Ho! Delhi Lair! Maybe no one will ever know who they were. But the legend of the Delhi Lair will go on. As long as the story of men continues. <laughs>